Yes, I'm in the Bruce Slack, and I'm the Kevin Regional Manager for the Scottish Border Property and Business Association. And I'm delighted to come here today to share the morning session. Uh, I'm looking to some of my colleagues as well as some new friends that I've made today. Um, I was particularly interested to hear how Highland County's legal program was operating, and uh, that's what I've been able to hear about the approach and uh, the making the commitments and expenditure and uh, the expectations for the spending program. I was also glad to catch up with Adam Ray from the Scottish Government's Real Payments and Inspections Directorate and um, she uh, gave some very good advice to those who came into the work of the real priorities and um, what I can offer communities. But I was really infused by the three uh, leader uh, projects, the and Highland, uh, Green Industry, uh, the Recycling Project, uh, the Seabird uh, Village Hill Project, and one from my leader project, the uh, Lost Project. Now these, these projects all uh, really told me with enthusiasm again for, for, for the social entrepreneurs we have in Holland. And this group of people who you know, working for what, what in the cities we would consider peanuts for delivering very high quality projects, delivering on the objectives, the strategic objectives of local authorities, of government, of the European Union, and doing it largely on some. And I think uh, the three projects we have to do are absolutely brilliant. It's just a pity that we weren't able to actually go on site and see some of these projects, and maybe that's something we can do uh, in the future. Is, uh, uh, I, I'm coming away today uh, absolutely filled again, refilled with enthusiasm for community community. I'm Maureen North, and I'm a director of the Seaboard Memorial Hall. About 12 years ago, the Seaboard community um, entered into a lot of meetings uh, regarding upgrading the Seaboard Memorial Hall. At that time, the hall was very much a mono use type of hall. Um, it had many, many problems, many structural problems. In fact, we were getting to the stage where it was going to be closed through um, health and safety issues. So, after many meetings, um, an agreement was within the community that we were going to go for the building of a new hall. Now, um, we met with user groups and we did surveys, household surveys, individual surveys, school surveys, to find out exactly what the community wanted um, by way of the new hall and what they wanted to use this hall for. And the upshot of that was that we then sent all the um, results to our design team and we have to do the Seabrook Memorial Hall as it is. It was a huge project, um, a half a million pound project, which we received money from Lost City, Highland Council, and um, at that time our local lake company was the way we received from HIE and um, some other bodies as well. So it was a huge project and um, a big undertaking. But I would say that the day the door was opened, it was a wonderful feeling to um, have achieved such a big project and to provide the community with such a wonderful hall. Um, it, it's the social part of our community. Um, we have in excess of 30, 40 user groups on a regular type of basis. We also um, have a local cafe in the, in the hall which is used by not only the community, it's used by visitors and people from the island by media and they have their lunch. Uh, we have pensioners days and um, getting very near to that myself. So um, we, we do a lot in the community. Um, so we're not just a commercial um, social enterprise. We, we do um, put back to the community um, a lot of food. I'm the project manager of the project management of the project management of the project management of the project management of the the project and then the people and the business of the project 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 of 
the community to make more social transformation resources for the platform of our country. We provided a weekly press conference service to four thousand people in each of the provinces. I'm a director of the Lucky Project in Keith. Uh, it's a project that was set up in 2000 by a group of young people who at the time just wanted uh, a meeting place that they could only run in the on their own line. And we got that, we wanted to get that, we bought the uh, building, and we bought some of the hotel tower, and obviously the project. But over time, we began to realise that there were a few more issues if you want. And I think that's partly because the young people do have a sense of ownership that these things started to come down. So our project diversified a lot. Uh, we, we employed an intensive support worker because we were having young people in charge of some of the stuff. And we also sent a link in with other projects like uh, My Pencil and Addiction. These were tied into what our young people were presenting as their needs. So we did a lot of networking right from the outset because we didn't have to do it all. But like a lot of these projects, we were a community project complemented by going through the technical recognition and uh, getting lots of grant funding. But of the projects that only start to be first few years, and that meant that we had to look towards how we were going to sustain our social aims. And our social aims have really become about learning, and it's very, very wonderful. Uh, whether that's learning high school, whether that's learning to cope and clinical, or whether it's more formal than learning. And um, so we look to become an FQA equipment system, which we are, um, but also to run that alongside the continuous support work that's going on, and the work that's going on. Um, and then we diversify further by looking at the one of the issues that young people themselves are presenting is one of the sort of workplace activities and career and distinct career paths. There's plenty of work that tends to be part-time seasonal contracts and are not really good career prospects in the end of the absolute cream of the job. Um, and that's a real problem for our young people and it means that they were leaving the area and going. And there's nothing in the area to pull in other young people in. It's fine if one lot goes, but another lot's coming in, and then you've got your original lot out. It's not like that if you agree to find another young people are doing it. So we looked at the various issues around employment. Um, um, some of our young people got hooked on cooking and food based um, projects, and they were looking at could we take that into work? Could we make that our career? And we looked at the hospitality trade. Equally renowned for not being good career prospects. So we looked at the issues around that and saw that there were good career prospects, but you had to go into things at a certain level that wasn't there for the ability to get them at that level. And to have not only the SQAs behind them, but also the workplace experience and the confidence that they have this kind of confidence. Um, and so, fortunately, a specialty seat of cafe restaurant in the main street in Keith came up to sale. Um, as a project, we decided to take a huge boundary and just go for it. And uh, the land unit was to prepare, the land unit was to be great and back in the city, and we got 40% points and put a 60% commercial loan, set up our trading subsidiary and took on this restaurant that's now our main trading subsidiary. And um, we, um, we have trainees going through the trainees all the time. Some do more QA, some just get more work experience, some get their confidence up to the trade. All sorts of young people, all sorts of skills. And that's taken on a bit of a new way in that we are linking the private sector business. Uh, because of course, it's not a huge cafe or public restriction, it's a huge public restriction to do. And the primary case is do we look to take on more? And do it all ourselves in house, or do we look to the bigger wider world? And then people have got to go into it. 
Pokemon Detroit and Spider-Man. We've got to take one to it. And so we've looked for quite a bit of business that has some very good choice. And we were really lucky when we blinked in the team. And so we were able to get some of the best of the best. So we've got to get some of the best of the best. I'm providing the team as well that we use them as a board. As, as well as the young trainers, we get on the um, and we don't have to do it with our son. So I'm pretty excited to spend that in there. Oh, hello, hi, and my name is Nicole Wallace, and I'm um, the board manager for the Hall of Fame of 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 Scotland, we have a taken, we've adopted a different place whereby we have a strategic bag and 11 local area partnerships. And all of these partnerships really have developed plans to identify priorities to spend in their area and drive activity. And that makes us unique in Highland really. We've also developed budgets like each and every one of these groups. Um, and they have budgets that range from 300,000 to 2,000 million pounds. We'll have the opportunity to bid in for future funding at the end of December 2011. There's a lot of time that hopefully they'll be able to secure some additional funds if they can make their